Hey guys, welcome to your Pick a Card Love Reading today. Um, we're going to take a look and find out what the person on your mind finds attractive about you. So um, yeah, you guys go ahead and take a look at the cards and I will have the timestamps below and we will dive right in with Pile 1. Hey Pile 1, welcome to your love reading. Um, today we're going to find out what the person on your mind finds attractive about you guys. So let's just dive right in and take a look. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, I am using the traditional tarot today. I thought we'd switch it up and um, kind of go with this. <laughs> All right, so we have the world coming out first. Wow. The emperor. Okay. And the page of wands. All right, pile one. <clears throat> so right off the bat, um, your person, this person, is thinking very highly of you. Okay. Um, they just see you like running stuff. Okay. So I don't know if you guys like own your own business. Um but they find this very attractive okay and i feel like you know with the page of wands um as their as their kind of hidden center energy here um there is a lot of desire for you okay um yeah i think that there's a lot of sexual uh fantasies going on um because again male or female they um they find you just very attractive very solid and stable okay so again this person's not only like physically attracted to you um um, but I, I feel like they're attracted to you on, um, like a mental, you know, a mental level and like an emote. I feel like for some of you, you guys just like really stimulate this person, you know, um, to think. So I don't know if you guys have like, um, really deep conversations or just very like, um, you know, you kind of like do the banter back and forth. Anyways, this person finds this extremely attractive. Okay. They find you, um, very, uh, very confident. Okay. Um, and I do feel for a lot of them, they just kind of feel a little uh, small next to you. Um, but they are definitely very attracted to you, Pile One. So let's keep going and find out what's bookending this emperor here. Ooh, the Eight of Swords. Okay. Um, yeah, so again, and we were just talking about, I think you're, this person feels a little small next to you because they are viewing you as this emperor. So you guys could be Aries too, or you could be dealing with the Aries. Um, I heard for some of you guys out there, but yeah, they're just, they're kind of in their head because this person's like really attracted to you, but they're just really not sure if they're good enough here. You know, with this eight of swords, um, they don't know if, if they're going to be able to measure up, um, yeah, so I think there's a little like nervousness here uh, because again, they see you as just this like confident, outgoing person who has pretty much the whole world at their fingertips. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys are like highly attractive and you could probably have your choice of, of you know, uh, people. So I think this person's a little caught up in their head about that, but uh, nonetheless, very drawn to you. All right, let's keep going. What's bookending the world here? judgment in the world. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't know for some of you guys out there, you may have walked away from this person. Like you could have just like, you know, I don't know if they, if they, um, kind of came to this connections, you know, as the page of wands where they were kind of just a little, I don't know, a little emotionally immature here. Um, and you were kind of at a different level than them. I feel like some of you may have made a judgment call here. Okay. To walk away. Um, which again, this, it does not stop this person from thinking about you, fantasizing about you. Um, yeah, they, they still view you very highly here. Um, and I do feel like, yeah, I, I don't know, somebody here, there was some kind of, uh, yeah, definitely some kind of judgment here. Um, they see you as, as making some sort of judgment. Now, this could go in a way where maybe um, this has to do with your personal life, where you've had to make some tough calls and you always come out on top, okay? You always prevail and they see this and they're very attracted to this. So uh, yeah, let's keep going and let's start clarifying here. Why is the world here for Pile One? The Three of Swords, okay. Again, I'm just getting that some of you guys um, have pulled your energy back from this person, okay? And it's and it's left them in this heartbroken phase because they're not sure if they can get this back with you, okay? They're really in their head. They they have a lot of admiration for you here, um, and I think it would be just like um, their dream come true. So if this is your scenario here, um, again, do keep in mind this is general collective, so it's not going to resonate for everybody out there. And if you're not really feeling this pile, feel free to check out the other two because there definitely could be some messages in those. Um, 
but but i'm getting that i just feel like this person knows that you have options here okay and i think they're a little they're a little heartbroken about that okay because they're afraid that you might choose somebody else over them like you make you might make that choice to close out this cycle with them okay and it would leave them absolutely heartbroken because again they're just they're viewing you um really putting you on a pedestal here okay let's keep going the emperor why is he here yeah, this is, see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. It's the nine of pentacles. Your person just sees you as like liberated. You're doing your own thing. You're good on your own. You don't really need them. Okay. Um, and, and this is minor arcana emperor, <laughs> empress actually. So for it to come out with the emperor, I mean, they literally, I just said, they're putting you guys on a pedestal and they're just not sure if they can measure up. Okay. And I feel like this heart, this person would definitely be heartbroken to see you move on, uh, move on to somebody else. But again, guys, they're just seeing you as like, just so confident. Okay. So independent. Um, yeah, really beautiful energy. I mean, this person, um, yeah, they, it, they, it's like complete pedestal here. Okay. Let's keep going. Page of wands. Yeah. It's the two of swords. Okay. So this person, again, I think for a lot of you, um, they feel blocked from your energy right now. Okay. They feel like if they acted like this page of wands with you before, they're really embarrassed about it. Um, because again, you know, and I'm not saying they didn't see your value before. Um, but they're really, they're really seeing you just thrive right now. And, and I just feel like this person feels blocked. It's like, yeah, I want to go. I want to go. I'm just so drawn to them, but there's something blocking here. Um, and again, I think it's just your independence. I think you're just coming off as like, yeah, I'm, I don't need anybody. I'm good on my own. Right. Um, and again, they're just worried if they can measure up because you know, um, eight of swords, let's keep going. Why is that here? Knight of cups. Yeah. So listen, they're in their head because they really want to do something. They want to make some kind of gesture towards you. Okay. Um, yeah, it's almost like this person just can't hold back. Um, and they're overthinking this, I think, because again, they're like, what do I present to this, you know, nine of pentacles emperor pile one, you know, what do, what do I present to them? That's going to be good enough. Like, I don't know, you know, again, they're just viewing you very highly here. And so, you know, it's, um, if this person has not reached out to you, it, trust me, it's not because they don't, you know, don't really want to. It's just a fear here. Okay. It's a fear here of possible rejection from you. I am hearing, um, and it would, it would, if, if, if they came to you and they made you some sort of offer or they expressed their feelings, um, it, they're and you rejected them okay and you just kept doing your own thing it would leave them heartbroken okay so i think yeah definitely in their head about this um but again you know knight of cups this is a message of love this person really does um yeah there's a lot of feelings here for you pile one that's for sure all right judgment let's go yeah so it's it's the six of pentacles and um again this is like a very fitting card here i think because it's like a judgment again for some of you um you stopped giving to this connection okay and it left them in this three of swords and they're really seeing you out there like conquering the world okay and it's it's definitely putting them in this state of like you know it, it, they're just in their head about how to reconnect with you okay and so um if if this isn't your scenario then this would be them saying like you know i want to do this with pile one um i know that i can't come in here with the page of wands you know this lusty in and out type of energy here um and that i that i just want to give equally to pile one yeah and uh again if for some reason they have not been able to do that uh, because we see that's what they want with you. Um, it's leaving them in this, in this kind of, uh, heartbreak stage, right? Um, because again, they're, they're highly attracted to you. Um, again, not only physically, but yeah, emotionally as well. So I did hear, uh, for some of you that you have definitely had some emotional conversations with this person in the past. Um, again, not going to resonate for everybody, but yeah. And they're thinking about that and they're really just putting, like, I just heard putting two and two together and now they're viewing you as this and now they're nervous to approach. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of, a lot of desire here for you. Um, and they're, they're really, yeah, I mean, this person might be in their head a little bit 
but they know what they want to do here okay they see you as somebody definitely worthwhile uh, when it comes to giving their time and energy to so yeah pile one I'm gonna leave it there for today um, if this reading resonated with you in your situation I would love to hear from you guys in the comments and until next time I will talk to you guys soon bye all right let's move on to pile two hey pile two let's find out what your person uh, is attracted to about you um, pile one just had a really great reading so let's dive into yours and find out Ooh, the star okay the okay the five of pentacles all right and temperance okay wow i feel like for a lot of you you have been so patient with this person okay um and they really do see you as like the shining star and for some reason they're feeling cut off from your energy right now okay and they're starting to really um for for some of you guys who are not in communication with their person they're really starting to feel the the lack of of your energy here okay um they really view you in a, in a very high light here okay um i don't know i just heard like some of you um are really like nurturing empaths um they get yeah, very healing energy that you bring to this person and again they're really feeling your uh the lack of your presence here if you guys are not in communication and so again this is general reading so um, not every message is going to resonate for everybody out there and if this does not sound like your situation feel free to check the other piles okay um, but yeah let's keep going because I want to find out what's booking in this five of Pentacles, so we can get a little more um, yeah the lovers look guys you have three major arcanas this person feels um, they're so attracted to you a lot of yeah definitely with the lovers coming out um, very sexually attracted to you here okay and uh, the star coming out yeah it's it's like they admire your body for sure okay and again if you guys have been intimate this person's really uh replaying those moments okay and um yeah if if there is like a lack of communication or you guys are in separation right now um this person does believe that it's not done okay with the temperance here it's kind of like a timing thing for me um also very healing energy i mean this is just they're they're very attracted to your healing nature yeah um also very sexually attracted to you as well uh but yeah it's it's like you just uplift this person i heard so yeah, very, um, a lot of you are really positive too. And I think that when this person um, in the past have has come to you um, and they've been kind of down and out, uh, you really lifted this person up and they admire this so much about you um, that I feel like you've touched them in a way that other people other people just haven't been able to like you get them in this almost like divinely weird like connected way right um yeah so if you guys are not in separation this person's definitely uh feeling feeling that okay they're feeling that at this time uh but yeah very attracted to you in pile two <laughs> all right uh, the star what's beginning the star the two of pentacles okay so again this is like a balanced energy for me they find you just very very balanced here um and that's really what just sets you apart from everybody else like you are like the the star to them um so again and you know and i feel like this person just um loves your energy so much that they feel like you can light up a room and i also heard that they feel like everybody else feels the same way as they do about you because it's impossible when that when people meet you to not feel this okay so again they they also could feel like maybe you have options here okay and it's and it's almost like making that um attractive this quality that you have going on like even more intense for this person like it's like a moth to a flame you know they just can't stay away they can't stop thinking about you um very very attracted to you um again I, they just love your sense of balance so i feel like you bring this person you balance them out like yin to the yang i just heard so yeah um all right let's keep going let's start clarifying the star why is that here the three of cups I, again this is like a healing um healing energy for me um, you guys could, you know, could have partied together before. Um, they really, they love that when you're out and about you, you just do, you just light up the room pile too. I'm really getting that vibe from you guys. Um, and again, if, if you're not in communication with this person, they're just, they're really wanting, uh, wishing, wishing on a star that this, uh, reconnection would happen. Okay. 
Um, again, I do feel like some of some of you, this might be like a timing issue here, okay? So take it how it resonates. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. Five of Pentacles, white set here. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you are the whole deal for this person. You're the whole package, okay? Um, they want this. They see you as pretty much their end-all, be-all here, okay? They really couldn't ask for anything else. So again, if you guys are not in communication here, I'm going to tell you I'm pretty surprised, Pile 2, because this person, I mean, I don't know how much longer they can go, right? Because again, they're just, you are like the whole shebang for this person. Yeah, they're they're very, just very uh, attractive. And you guys, um, I heard for some of you, could be financially independent on your own. Okay, and so that maybe this person um, might make less than you. Okay, and so that could leave them um, again putting you on a pedestal. Um, not sure if they can measure up because again, you're just so balanced with all aspects of your life. So they're really attracted to this, but at the same time, it's a little it's a little scary for them. Okay, um, so yeah, I that just that's just a layer that's here of that, right? But um, they want this with you. Yeah, they again, they're just viewing you end all be all right um okay temperance why is that here nine of swords yeah there's something going on here with timing where this person feels like they're running out of time i just heard um and so it's kind of like ooh, all these feelings are here for you um all this passion is here for you they miss your energy um and they are are just having anxiety about how to how to restore this connection with you because this is what they want. So yeah, that's what really what I'm getting from that. Um, also I did hear for some of them, they're like, is this too good to be true? Like, is this person real? Um, because again, I just, they've really never met anybody like you. You've definitely left a lasting impression on this person. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Lovers way is that here judgment. Okay. So we listen, we see three angels out. I'm going to tell you that this person definitely feels a spiritual connection to you here. And it, it really actually could be, okay. It could be like this divine, um, counterpart here. Okay. Uh, they definitely feel that way about you. Okay. And again, for me, this is like, they feel like you have choices. Um, they feel like you could have anybody. Uh, yeah. So again, there's just like this healing energy that you bring to them and they really don't want anybody else to have it. Okay. So again, if you guys are not in communication, I think this person is just like, might be waiting on the right time to do something here, but I don't feel like they're going to let you get away. Okay. Um, and miss out on this 10 of pentacles with you because, um, I feel like you are pretty much the only person on their mind right now. Okay. You're, you're taking, <laughs> taking up a lot of headspace for them. I'm just going to say that pile too. <laughs> All right. Why is the two of pentacles here? Let's find out. Yeah. It's the nine of pentacles. They feel like you have choices. Okay. You're solid and stable on your own. Again, if you guys pulled back your pulled back your energy from this person they're worried that you have options now they're seeing you thrive okay and for some of you you did you did make this judgment call okay you 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 know something went down with you guys in the past and you were just like nope i'm i'm out um it hasn't stopped them from from knowing in their minds like they know um that you're the one for them okay it's like the ten of pentacles nine of pentacles like um yeah, you're the full package here for this person. So um, I'm going to leave it here, pile two. But wow, wow, this person, again, very attracted to you, not not just physically, very emotionally. Um, I feel like this person wants to invest in you. OK, invest in you for the long term here. OK, so, um, yeah, you guys will have to let me know if this resonated with you um, again. Great read pile two, um, you little hotties. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm going to move on to pile three and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Um, all right, take care. Bye pile two. All right, let's move on to pile three. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your reading. Um, we're going to take a look and find out what the person on your mind finds attractive about you. Okay. Uh, pile one and pile two had great readings. So if you're inclined, you may find a message or two in that as well. Um, you know, this, these are general, so it's not going to resonate with you know, everyone, every time they watch, but, um, yeah, let's just dive right in and see what the cards want to say for pile three page of cups. Okay. Yeah. We had that same placement for pile two for the five of pentacles. All right. Let's find out here. Ooh. Okay. 
Um, I think that you make this person really nervous here, okay? I, I feel like they feel like this little page of cups um, next to you, it's giving them a lot of anxiety, okay? They're very attracted to you here. They want to make some kind of, you know, romantic gesture here. Um, the page of cups is like a message of love, right? Um, and for some of you out there, you may have cut this person off, okay? You may be in separation from this person, and I'm going to tell you that they're definitely feeling the, the loss of your energy here, okay? It's hitting them. It's hitting them like a ton of bricks, I just heard. So for some of you out there who resonate with this, your person's feeling it, okay? And I feel like they're just, mm, they don't know. They, they view you so highly that they're not sure if their little, you know, fish in a cup apology or whatever they owe you is going to be enough. So let's keep going because I need a little more here so we can kind of find out um, a little more about what this person and why are they attracted to you. All right, five of pentacles. Yep, it's the star. <laughs> okay, um, again, and, and Pile T just got this card for their very first card, but this person, mm, they feel cut off from your energy again. I'm just getting that. Um, they view you as the star. Again, very attracted to you sexually. I feel like this person um, is missing your your bod. Okay, so if you guys are in separation, they're feeling that. Okay, they're feeling the loss of that as well. Not only your energy, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> the fact that they can touch you and look at you, um, yeah, they're uh, very attracted to you, very attracted here. So let's keep going. What's bookend in the Page of Cups? Yeah, the High Priestess. Again, they're just kind of like, what can I offer? What can I offer? offer pile three like they're the star and here i am like this little page like i don't know if i can measure up like oh you know this person's definitely a sleepless nights so here thinking about you um and this is a double confirmation for me that they are just like a pedestal it's pedestal vibes all day for this person when it comes to you okay very attracted to you i feel like um you guys could be very intuitive and this person really admires your um unique abilities here when it comes to certain things so i don't know if like you know, you've talked to this person about astrology, possibly, like you guys might be very well versed in that. And this person really is just like in awe, awestruck, I just heard. They're in awe of you. Um, and so they're really just over here and they're just not sure if they can measure up and they're just overthinking this, right? Because um, there just is so much attract attractiveness to you. Um, they're definitely viewing you as somebody who is very elevated um you're very spiritual for the most most of you i feel like you guys just exude this like healing spiritual-esque energy right and this person picks up on it and when you're not around they feel out in the cold okay um they again very attracted to you uh very so yeah let's keep going let's start clarifying here page of cups oh it's the sun yeah <laughs> Um, again, this like just healing, warm energy. I think a lot of you guys are super attractive. Okay. And so it's like when you come in the room, it's like all eyes on you. Right. And so this person's like, here I am. What about me? I'm over here. Like, it's like that. <laughs> um, it's almost like a little schoolboy in love here when it comes to you or girl. Okay. I take it. How it resonates. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just really attractive. Again, I'm just like getting, the, they're just, <laughs> if they have not been intimate with you, I'm going to tell you they want to see what's under, under that dress. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. They, they want to have the full experience with you. Um, and they just see you as someone who is just very poised, very put together, very confident. Okay. Um, also very friendly and funny too. So a lot for a lot of you, I think you use humor out there. Um, and this person finds that super attractive. Like I think you have all the qualities that this person has ever wanted in somebody and there's really not anything that they, uh, there, there are no faults, you know, they don't, they can't find any faults with you. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's keep going. Five of pentacles. Why is that here? Yeah. So a lot, uh, listen, a lot of you have cut off communication from this person. You've either pulled back your energy and maybe you're not, you're not communicating as much. Um, they definitely feel blocked. Okay. They are missing your presence. That's for sure. So if you guys are in separation, um, this person is desperate to, to get back into your energy here. Okay. They don't want to be away from you. Um, again, you guys have may you may have other suitors out there and this person is driving them crazy. That thought, right? Because 
um, there's just a lot of attraction here for you and they don't want to miss this chance with you. So let's keep going. Nine of swords. Why is that here? Yeah, it's ace of swords. So yeah, again, like you're this, you're their truth. Okay. Um, and I feel like too, that some of you guys might've called them out on their bullshit at some point here. And it's really like put this person in like this, like, Oh my God, what did I do? I effed up with pile three and like, they're never going to take me back now. And, um, yeah. So it's like, mm, they, and they also do for some of them. I heard that they know that, you know, the truth. So if they haven't told you their feelings, like they're like, I already know that they know. Um, because again, pile three is coming off as very intuitive, right? And so I feel like you guys have picked up on that, even if they haven't said this. And, um, this could also be why you pulled your energy back. Cause it's like, okay, go ahead and tell me the truth. Like, I know how you're feeling. Just, just tell me, I don't even care if it's page level, right? Just, just tell me. <laughs> um, and they want to, so, you know, they know that you're the type of, of person who will accept nothing but the truth here. So again, for some of you who have cut off communication with this person, they clearly know why. <laughs> um, and again, they're just nervous. They're like, Ooh, well, pile three, like, are they gonna, you know, are they gonna let me come back in here? Um, yeah. And they admire that about you too. So I feel like if this person hasn't expressed that to you. I think they're proud of you. And again, it's just like, it's just like driving your attractiveness level up, <laughs> you know, even though it's giving them anxiety, it's like, well, damn, like pile three just won't take my BS anymore. This is super hot, but like, you know, is it going to ruin my chances? Like, yeah. So there's that energy going on too. All right, let's keep going. The star wise, but here the moon. Yeah. Um, again, it's just, I'm getting intuition here. They just see you as somebody who knows stuff. Okay. Um, and it just, it just, and again, this, this could speak to them hiding their true feelings as well. So for some of you out there, you will resonate with this. Okay. Um, but yeah, they, um, they almost like they feel very vulnerable when it comes to you. And yes, it's highly attractive to them, but it's also really like nerve wracking at the same time, because if they're, you know, if they are trying to hide these feelings, they just know that there's no way that you don't know about this. Okay. So it's, it's like this intuition here. They almost have, I, I heard for some of you that this person might be trying to communicate with you, uh, telepathically because they believe that you're capable of hearing that the messages here. Okay. Um, which again, they, it just like turns them on. Like who is the spiritual goddess over here? Like, you know, very healing, just like, yeah, it's like the whole thing. Right. Um, yeah, let's keep going. The high priestess, tell us more. Five of swords. They feel like they have sabotaged something with you here. Okay. Um, again, it's just them being so attractive that you're not going to put up with their BS. Yeah, that's it. It's like, they know it's like, well, crap. I mean, pile three, it, like they're not going to accept anything less than like, you know, a truthful new beginning here. Right. So this person, listen, they might have to, you know, cut out some of these, um, Mm, yeah, it's just like a saboteur type of behavior that they have going on where it could be like, just like, oh, they get into this stage, they feel blocked and then they start having anxiety and then they just do something that completely ruins, you know, whatever they were trying to build. Right. And in this case, it would be with you. So I, I do feel that for a lot of you, um, you do have a past with this person and, uh, you, they're just like really attracted to the fact that you're no longer taking their crap. Um, and it's just making them want you even more. They're just really feeling that loss here. Okay. They're, they're stuck at this page level, um, here next to you. I mean, they almost just don't feel like they can measure up cause they're so like, you know, you on that pedestal, you know? Um, yeah, a lot of, of sexual hidden sexual desire here for you as well. So again, and they just almost feel like you can see right through it. Like if they try to hide it from you, it's like, don't even bother. Like pile three already knows. <laughs> it's just like, you know what you were doing last night, you know, <laughs> my Facebook, you were on my Instagram, right? And, and yeah, I'm sure. Listen, a lot of attractiveness here, just nerves that I think that they're going to have to, uh, come correct to you and that, you know, 
you're just not taking it anymore. So yeah, pile three, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Um, again, all three piles today were awesome reads. Like your, your people all think super highly of you. Um, so yeah, I do hope this reading resonated with you guys. If it did, you'll definitely have to let me know in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and you will get notified when I post the next pick a card. All right, guys, I will talk soon. Bye.